Hi there. If you are watching this video, you are probably interested in the Cubetics Cube Code platform, which is essentially a platform where you can develop your own dApps without any knowledge of coding. There are two versions of Cube Code, the basic and the pro version. And in this video tutorial, we are going to go through the basic version. So just to recap, Cube Code is a user-friendly tool for deploying smart contracts without any extensive coding knowledge. So you can use this platform to easily develop tokens or dApps of your own construction and then deploy them easily. The pro version will be available soon, but for now, the basic version is good to go. So let's get started. So the first thing that greets you when you enter the website is this workspace. The website is testnet cubecode basic dot cubetics dot work forward slash work dash space. Once you're successful, click on the link and it will bring you to here. So the workspace you can see gives you different options, ERC20, ERC721, ERC1155 and so forth. So these are different templates that are here. You can use each of these to develop your own smart contract. So for example, Let's go through one. Let's go through the ERC20. ERC20 is the best option here because it is fairly easy to understand and navigate around. So in this section, you have different contract options. So for example, you can change the token name to token, as you can see here. It has changed. You can change the symbol, for example, from MTK to TK, and you can ask for a pre-mint. So, for example, you can say, I want 100, or let's say 100,000, which would be minted in the beginning while you develop this smart contract. The message.sender, which is the wallet address that is deploying this smart contract, is going to mint this 100K tokens. And please remember that this has decimals, so 10 to 18 decimals are used. You can change this decimalization in the settings, but this is normal for all ERC20s. So you can define a pre-mint, which is the first supply, and use different options. So for example, you can choose whether it is mintable. Do you have an owner, which is a wallet that is deploying this smart contract? And you can use the mint function whenever you want to. You can make it burnable. You can also make it pausable. So whenever there is deemed to be a security issue, you can pause the smart contract as the owner. The flash minting feature, which mints lots of tokens in one block. And you can use this to add voting, which is important, say, for example, in setting up a DAO. So as you can see here, it is building different smart contracts to build this ERC20 token. There are further options. For example, block number, timestamp. We would suggest you choose and trial them depending on what you want to create. You can also change the access controls to none. For no access, control. Ownable, so you can define roles here, and also make it managed. There are also sections on upgradability, so transparent, none, or UPS. As you can see, writing a security email that allows you, when you write it down, it writes it here for security. Okay. Let's make this a little simpler. The license is best put under MIT. So this is the first step in the cube code. Once you have done that, you can do two things. Either download the code and transfer this to Cubetics IDE or any other IDE. And also you can copy it from here.
Another thing you can do is use this section for compiling. So after you click on it, after you've gone through this section, creating the smart contract, you are greeted with the Solidity compiler. In a similar way to the one you've seen on the Cubetics IDE, if you've seen that video. So you can click here and choose a compiler version. There are some EVM configurations here. The EVM version is important and you have to see that here the Shanghai and the London versions of the EVM configurations are the ones that are recommended. We would recommend these two as later versions may not work as well as the Shanghai here is the preference. So once you've, uh, you've chosen this one, click on compile and after, wait a few seconds and hopefully this will be successful. So as you can see, it's been successful. Now we can go to deploy. So as you can see, it's very simple. You just click on this to connect with a MetaMask wallet. It says MetaMask is connected. And by this chain ID, it means you are connected to the Cubetics network. So this is my account. I have 20 ticks. And also there are some constructor arguments here. So initial owner address. I go to here. I copy paste this and put it here. And then click deploy. It asks me for a confirm message. It says deploy a contract, hit confirm and we will wait to, for it to be deployed on the network. It's been deployed successfully, and we should be able to see it on the Explorer. Here is the transaction hash of the transaction. This was created using the ERC20 token. So it is this from this address to this address. Block number, timestamp, fee, etc. Some useful information on method and amount of gas used. So this is the transaction hash. You can click on two and go to smart contract. So if you wait a bit after clicking, this is the detail that will you be you'll be greeted with. So this is the contract details, the name of the token, the symbol, as you can see it was TK. 18 decimals and over there was the total supply. Next then you can go to different sections and see the details. So what we can do next is take the contract address, we can copy it and get it to the same result. So for example if you go to the dashboard and search for it you should be able to do that. So we saw the token called TK and there again we are in the same place. Another aspect of Q-Code is that we can verify and publish. Just click on it and wait a bit and we can then see if it's successfully compiled. So it's successfully compiled and verify this smart contract. There you can see that fully verified. The EVM version was Shanghai. Optimization runs were 200. Compiler version 
and that's my erc20.sol file. So we can see it's been deployed and all the details of other dependent contracts are there. Other library contracts are here also. So you can verify your contracts with ease. And there are some other options here like read the contract. You can connect your wallet and go through each section in your own time, which is what's suggested. But let's just try it out. So connect wallet, which is MetaMask. And then these parameters are now popping up. You can see it's reading from the blockchain, just like the IDE, the IDE did previously, if you manage to use that. So I can copy it, click and paste, read it, and this is the amount of tokens I have. You can see it has 18 decimals before the amount of token that has been minted. So the number of tokens, which was 100,000 plus 10 decimals, you can see the decimals have been set to 18. So you can also write to this contract. So I can mint to my own address. So let's, uh, let's make this amount uh, 25. So give it a little time and it's working on the network. That is the code we have just deployed using KubeCode. There is a separate tutorial video for TickScan if you're interested in that. So you might want to take a look at that. So using cube code, you can compile smart contracts, deploy them on the network, and in a straightforward way, verify and publish. If you do have any further questions, please do get in touch. Also, we have this reward program which you can go through, which is on the right of the screen. And you can tell us about any bugs you see in the platform, and we'll be happy to debug on your suggestions with a view to solving these as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and listening.